Uh, this talk is going to be about CBSD, which is uh, hmm? sorry, sure, oh, cool. Uh, which is uh, I call it isolation manager, but uh, it manages Beehive, uh, JS, and Zen. And basically, the layout of the talk is I'm new to BSD community, so I think that it might be beneficial to to say who I am and where I come from. To then I'm going to present uh, current features of a CBSD and what it can do for you, me, and everyone. And what do we plan to do in the future? So my name is Goran Mekic. I am a web developer by day uh, and mostly Python and uh, React. And by night, I'm a FreeBSD hacker since EuroBSD uh, 2016, so I'm a bit green. Uh, and I'm also a musician, which kind of sticks in this slide, but that's what got me into most of my troubles. And where the, I started, of course, with uh, Linux and uh, Docker. And uh, Docker was a way for me to Oh, okay, okay. So, so I'm being very really loud, so we're going to try something. And I'm blind. <laughs> okay, let's try it like this. Okay, is it better? Any better? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> just, just wing in a funny way and uh, figure it out. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I started with Linux, and uh, Docker was a way, among other things, uh, for my system to be clean and my audio apps to be only uh, only apps on the host, almost. Uh, and it basically, I use Debian. Uh, it basically avoided uh, dependency hell, as most of the software is not on the host. So I showed up at uh, EuroBSD, and uh, it was in Serbia, which is where I come from, so it was on my doorstep. I had to go. And uh, I obviously, it was a good conference. I'm a FreeBSD user now, and uh, I have FreeBSD on all my machines, so it was successful. And uh, <coughs> uh, the FreeBSD 11 came with Docker support, and I thought there's going to be a champagne or, and uh, celebration uh, and whatnot. And nobody talked about Docker, and that was kind of weird. So uh, I re-examined my assumptions. Maybe Docker is not the best thing in the FreeBSD world, so. I had to research, and research told me that um, I need a different approach. Uh, as uh, Lucas said, uh, Linux has one set of features, so you kind of are not made, but you, know, uh, you have to do it that way because those are the features. You can use that or nothing, right? And Jill. Uh, 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 ended up, be, uh, ended up in my head. Uh, wow, it's also a security feature. It's not so easy to escape a jail uh, compared to to Docker. Actually, I don't know anyone who escaped a jail. Uh, <coughs> FreeBSD jail. <No. laughs> and uh, I was really mind blown once I realized that uh, jail can have other jails. Wow, it's babushkas all the way down, and uh, <laughs> it was wonderful, right? So uh, I needed kind of um, a new tool, and uh, I tried a couple, and CB is the one of them. So uh, I was first using it for um, for a hackerspace I co-founded. Uh, so it wasn't quite production yet for me, although the CBSD is, uh, well, I don't know if uh, four years is old, but uh, 
for a manager, for uh, I think it's it's mature. Uh, and uh, I realized I have to learn some stuff, how it's done. It's not Docker Compose anymore. So uh, what I was really, really uh, pleasantly surprised is how easy it is to, to start with CBSD. So we have this construct. Construct is uh, basically what creates your jail if you prefix it with jail. So jconstruct builds your jail, but if you're a noob like I was, you have no idea what the jail actually does and how to connect it to a network and what is available. Uh, there's a dash 2e for every command. So it's, uh, I'm gonna show it how, how it looks, but it's a dialog based uh, uh, command and you enter stuff and it does the magic. Uh, so <coughs> it's for me it was easy that changing the first letter will create what you want, or maybe uh, you made a mistake. Uh, but uh, it's a consistent uh, set of commands between jails, beehives, and Zen. Of course, you, you cannot run everything because of the technological reasons, but still we really, really try to to make it, um, well, I don't like to use my brain when I don't have to, so CBSD is, is helping. Uh, CBSD also supports uh, nodes, multiple nodes, virtual machines or uh, bare metal or whatever you want to use for, I don't know, for example, jails. Uh, and all communication between jails is uh, uh, based on SSH. You can, uh, if you log into any node and tell it, okay, I want this jail on this node and I don't know where I'm logged in and I don't care, it's gonna do the right stuff for you. Uh, it's gonna send a command to the right node and set up network if needed, and all the, the stuff that actually manage, uh, that managers should do. And uh, I'm still trying to grasp all the networking technologies built into FreeBSD, and me not having to, um, well, read about them, uh, but just run the command like to a command and it will tell me what are my options and if I choose some options, there are sub options. It's much easier for, for, uh, uh, for noobs, for uh, newcomers. Uh, so <coughs> this is basically how uh, jconstruct 2e looks like. And uh, what it says here is a profile. I'm gonna talk about that more later. Uh, basically, uh, you can uh, have different stuff uh, based on a profile. And the rest is basically the, the self-explanatory, except if you don't want anything, like an empty string, it's a zero. Uh, empty string is kind of hard to shell script, so it's easier if you have some value like a null uh, in, in C, so we, we chose uh, zero. And uh, <coughs> the rest is pretty much self-explanatory, with this being a drop-down menu uh, where you can choose an interface to, to stuck your jail into. And uh, basically, uh, all two commands uh, cover basic needs for isolation management of networking stuff, of uh, wireless switch, of uh, whatever CBSD, sorry, whatever CBSD can do, it's basically uh, commands and two commands for few of them that are most important. <sighs> so when, once I was happy with how I used it, uh, how it works for me. Uh, I was kind of not happy with, with small bits and pieces. I, I wanted 
to be perfect for me personally. And I found that um, CBSD implementation is really hard to, uh, to read. So for example, if you have a CBSD J construct, you're gonna have a script called J construct. It's gonna be tool slash J construct, but when you uh, when you're experienced enough with the CBSD, you know where to search for uh, implementation of the command you just ran. And uh, it has really, really minimal amount of C. It's basically for uh, term IO and uh, some arithmetics that uh, uh, we need in a shell script. So CBSD comes with uh, its own shell script to to manage the commands, but it's like 99% uh, shell, uh, I mean pure shell. Uh, it has the same syntax uh, and we didn't invent anything. <coughs> also, we strive to make it as minimal as possible uh, wh when re uh, dependencies are involved. So it really has minimal set of dependencies. I think on a clean system, package install will pull in 11 packages, something like that. But the implementation changes and we uh, released, two, uh, a week and a half we released new version, so that might be a lie. I haven't checked uh, a new, uh, dep uh, the dependencies of a new version, so things might change. And uh, <coughs> it also supports uh, what I call advanced features. Uh, you can have hooks which basically fire when you start and stop a jail inside, or, uh, inside a jail or on a host, or pre, post, stop, start, uh, blah, 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 a bunch of uh, hooks that will help you for example, I like to register my uh, jails in DNS using a hook, but you can use it for anything you, you think it's, it's appropriate. And uh, it has profiles, as I promised, and profiles are uh, what, if you have CBSD set of commands, you can put them all in a profile, and once you're in a J construct 2 the dialog, you can just choose the profile and uh, OK, create it. Uh, so you can put all your common stuff in a profile so you don't have to type it every time, or even automate it via, uh, via some other tool. Uh, profiles also include, uh, not include, they use uh, skeleton for jails. Uh, which, well, I'm going to give you uh, one example I use it for. It's, um, I use a lot of development in a jail, web development in, in jail, and I don't want to run commands as, as root even in, in a jail. So scale creates my uh, development uh, user inside a jail and whatever it needs from uh, packages or configuration uh, and stuff. And uh, when I joined the project, which was uh, I think six months ago uh, as a developer, uh, I tried to make uh, CBSD use existing uh, infrastructure more because it can manage your uh, uh, firewall, whatever firewall you're using, it can manage your ZFS data sets, it can manage your NAT, and what uh, a lot of things are uh, automated just when you create a jail. Uh, but old timers, not, not that I'm one of them, but uh, more experienced uh, FreeBSD administrators don't like magic and actually any administrator doesn't like magic. So if you have existing infrastructure, that was kind of my, uh, my job to, to make it, okay, what if something else uh, or you're uh, managing your own PF, how do I uh, stick CBSD into something existing? That, that's wh uh, what I was 
mostly interested as a, as a developer. And uh, I think we're getting to a point where you can literally use it everywhere, but uh, take it with, uh, <coughs> with a grain of salt because, as I said, I, I'm still green. I don't know what everything means in FreeBSD. So this little slide is uh, for uh, what we did to support Beehive. Well, basically, when you're building a manager, you're not inventing anything. You're using the existing stuff. And uh, yeah, th this is not a whole list. I just picked a few uh, that, that I find interesting, and especially PCI pass-through for uh, driver development or whatever you want to use it for. Uh, I'm hacking some, some small hardware, so, so I kind of love it. Uh, it has a weird, kind of weird option uh, of uh, uh, Plan 9, Virtual P9 uh, folder sharing, which is abnormally fast. Uh, it's not yet in, uh, it will come up with a 12, but we have support for it. Uh, already in place. Uh, yeah, you can you can basically do all kinds of stuff with it, uh, but uh, <coughs> what it uh, provides for me personally, when I hook a beehive to a network, uh, it can be a network that also some jail uh, uses. Uh, so you can interact uh, between jails and, and Beehive in an easy way. And uh, we're planning on, bef uh, besides Valley Switch, to support Open vSwitch. That's coming really soon, I hope. Uh, if, if our free time remains as it is, it's coming soon. So that, uh, and yeah, virtual disk management. Uh, currently when, uh, we only create a full Z wall, so we want to, to experiment with a shallow, uh, how it's called, when, when Z wall doesn't allocate uh, whole space, but allocates when, it, when it's needed. Uh, yeah, thin, thanks. Uh, so that, that's for the beehive uh, also. I mean, for Z wall, I think it's a minus S to add, but it's more of a testing how it works in, a, in some of the environments. Now for the gels, it started as a gel manager, um, I think. Why I, th uh, why I say I think is because uh, I'm not the original author of a CBSD, so I came a bit later. And I tried in this six months that I'm a developer to get as much information on history of CBSD as I could. Uh, so jail has its abnormal uh, list of features that, that we support right now. Uh, these are, I don't know, I find them interesting. Uh, Data encryption via, uh, via Jelly, that's, that sounds sweet. That, that's something that if you're on a shared hosting, you probably, well, you don't have a CBSD then. But uh, sharing a machine with other people while your jail is encrypted is kind of adds to security. Uh, I'm not going to go through all this, but a V image is already in CORP, RCTL, uh, per jail traffic account, and it, it goes to infinity. Uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll literally, I'll, the list is like this. Uh, basically, the, the, what, what FreeBSD can do with the jail is abnormally flexible. And uh, one of the things I really, really love is this. I haven't tried it excessively, but uh, having a build in a jail that's going to become an image for a ISO or, or a memstick, that, that's perfect. Uh, <coughs> and uh, basically, you, ha you can have a VNC in a, in a jail. 
it's also supported and whatever you know, uh, probably whatever you know about the gel is supported I even, for example, vImage is a 12 current uh, feature, but it's already there and uh, it kind of works. Uh, kind of being the DHC client has a problem with vImage, so it, that's the reason why it's kind of. And uh, Zen, okay, th this is the <coughs> demon scare slide for uh, two reasons. First, to support Zen, we need hardware. And it's not easy to come by a hardware that is just, okay, we're just going to put it in a, this box in a, in a corner and we're going to develop our Zen on it. And you can, you can do it on your laptop uh, compared to Beehive in jail. So Zen support is slightly lagging behind jails and Beehive. But I might be lying because Alec, who is a, a team lead, added a Zen, a more Zen support two weeks ago and I didn't get the, the time to check it out what, what's in there. We got uh, two weeks of someone's hardware to do whatever we can with, with Zen, so I, I'm not yet sure what, what we did with that. Um, but basically, li like jails and, uh, and uh, Beehive, you can create them, destroy them, hook them to a network, and uh, the rest is easy. The, the rest is up to you. Log into it, and whatever you want to do, just do it. And uh, we didn't stop there. There's a um, web interface to CBSD, which is currently in alpha version, so it's uh, slightly annoying to install. We're working in, on that becoming, a, actually, I want to work on that becoming a package install command, so, so we don't have to hassle the, uh, so, so much. And uh, uh, the, what uh, basically distribution does is, so this is a, uh, it should do everything a CBSD, a uh, command line CBSD does. And uh, it should have, uh, um, when I say should, it's an office software. We plan on, uh, whenever you do something from a CLI, you should you should be notified to a, a web interface right away. So uh, some web sockets are behind it. Behind it. And uh, whatever you can do with uh, CBSD, uh, you should be able to do with, uh, with uh, Clone OS. But it's going to change slightly. I'm going to come to that slide. Uh, so I'm just going to run through. Sorry, I'm just going to run through some of the, the screenshots of the, of the distro and how it looks. Uh, but you wouldn't expect much, like fill in the, the fields and create it or edit it. But what it has is also um, uh, images you can use uh, that are pre-built. Uh, CBSD has export, and, sorry, uh, export and import of um, jails, actually, jails and beehive. Uh, but I'm gonna talk mostly about uh, the jails from now on. Uh, you can pick some of them and just say, okay, I don't know how to install something uh, from the list, but pick it and it, it will be in your network, on your host. Uh, you can peek into the, the jails for Beehive, and I think this is Beehive, yeah, it's a bootloader. Uh, <coughs> you can peek into it and uh, do stuff. Uh, currently it's uh, VNC, uh, but uh, Oleg ported Spice, I think a month ago, uh, so we're going to try how the spice works with uh, with the gels and uh, beehive, and maybe switch depending on what we find. Um, 
And yeah, there, there's a list of your networks that you use with, uh, with the CBSD. They don't normally have to be all on the same network, and it can manage multiple, for example, low image, local images, uh, not images, sorry, interfaces, uh, or uh, bridges, or whatever you need. Uh, so this is a list of all your networks that, that are configured. And uh, whew, this is small. <laughs> so this uh, basically is um, CBSD doesn't have a concept of a user. Uh, it doesn't care about that. But if you're delegating work uh, among different uh, uh, system administrators, you probably want usernames and uh, authentication. So uh, the web part has authentication, but uh, command line doesn't. I think SSH is just fine. And uh, <coughs> finally, what's in the future? Uh, the future is bright because CloneOS uh, got some attention lately. That's why I could take snapshots, uh, uh, screenshots. And uh, <coughs> it will become more. Uh, to say, easier to install and easier to, to use uh, over time. Uh, but up until now, we only had one alpha uh, release. So it's pretty uh, rough around the edges. There is a CBSD forms, which is, um, if you're a web developer, you know that the web form is basically key value. Uh, what it allows you to do what Alec does with that is uh, he runs, uh, he likes Puppet, I like Ansible. Uh, so he remembers, uh, he, he inputs some of the Puppet variables in, into the CBSD forms. And then when he runs a, a Puppet, true, uh, <laughs> CBSD has a, a, a feature to run a Puppet now. Uh, it will gather the information from the, the, those key values. Uh, by the way, we use uh, SQLite to, to store our information, so it's really light. Uh, you can, whatever you find useful to, to be a variable for uh, maybe all your jails, for example, you can put it in, in there and just uh, extract it and put into a playbook or whatever is called in a uh, puppet world. Uh, Reggae is, uh, <laughs> well, Reggae, uh, it's the uh, same idea, only trying to use Ansible to provision stuff, uh, to, to provision jails. Uh, and uh, Reggae is only bound to, to jails. I, uh, because the way Ansible works, uh, virtual machines are a piece of cake to set up. And uh, what awaits us in, in the future is testing that we chose to, to use uh, BuildBot. It's uh, Python, so we both know how to, to develop on it. Uh, there will be... Uh, what we want to work on is multiple instances of CBSD. So, for example, if you're a hosting provider, you, you can uh, expose your VPS by giving um, access to your clients uh, to a CBSD instance. Uh, currently, only one CBSD can be on a, on a host. But having multiple CBSDs, maybe you can host a VPS or... Uh, uh, segregate them differently or whatever you find useful. And uh, what's going to help in that, uh, that effort is that I want to work on a socket-based communication between uh, um, command line and uh, daemon. Currently, the shell scripts does basically everything. 
what we want to do is uh, make daemon do the stuff that is needed for uh, creating a ZFS data set or networking or whatever it needs to do. Uh, and then you communicate with, with it via socket. Uh, and that's why I said that the web uh, uh, part is probably going to change to use sockets and uh, to become more, uh, to, to become easier. Uh, I successfully broke this laptop with hardened BSD trying to support uh, to have more support in CBSD for hardened BSD. So that's something I'm um, well, continuously working on and it's still not there. There are some hardened BSD uh, specific jail options that they're working on. I think they're, they're definitely master of their GitHub. I just don't know if they're, st uh, they're included in any of the images. Like, all the stuff that uh, Harden BSD uh, brings all, um, on top of FreeBSD that can be uh, turned on and off uh, for a jail. And um, <coughs> we already have this commit. We are just waiting for Harden BSD to, to actually ship with uh, images, which may be actually happen in, in these few weeks. And documentation, although the documentation is really, really good. I found everything I needed when I started with uh, CBSD and documentation. We need to work on uh, uh, making documentation more searchable. It's a static site right now. So if you don't know where a certain document is, you probably will have a hard time finding it. So a bit of documentation management is needed to, to really kick off the, the, <coughs> the CBSD for noobs. And uh, I don't have much to add on that. Uh, these are some useful links that uh, are about CBSD. First one is um, uh, CBSD official site, although it, it sounds a bit weird, but uh, uh, BSD store for uh, for images of uh, Beehive and Jails is in order. So the, this domain will become once will become a, a place where, like a Docker Hub, you can pull images from it or build yourself. Uh, we're on GitHub, of course. And please do check out uh, the, the GitHub, write issues uh, and stuff. Whatever you find bothering, please uh, just let us know. And uh, the last one is my site. I really try to, to cover CBSD from uh, weird perspectives. Being a musician is just one part of it. And. Uh, yeah, uh, so I'm, I'm trying to fit CBSD where it originally doesn't fit, so we can make it more uh, flexible. And for the end, I would like to thank Fosden for inviting us. It was really a pleasure to, to come and talk to all these people. Uh, I would like to officially thank Ale Gisberg, who is a uh, lead developer of CBSD for having so much time for my whining, why this doesn't work, how do I learn this, and, and stuff. He's a wonderful mentor, so thank you. Uh, FreeBSD for doing everything, basically, compared to the small part we did. And uh, for the last, uh, but not least, Tilda Center is a hackerspace I co-founded that is hosting some uh, CBSD-related uh, stuff. Namely, I think the, the most important is a mailing list, which is kind of scarce at, uh, at this point. But yeah, as a new developer, I'm going to obviously become a, a guy who goes around uh, and 
tells people about it and, and screams at people, use it, use it. Uh, that will be all uh, on my side. So if you have any questions, I will, I will be more than glad to answer. <coughs> So the question was, uh, can CBSD uh, separate shared memory? And I don't know. I, I'm really too green. Uh, maybe it can, but it's a bit lower level. Uh, I was preparing the, the slides, not so much technology. Sorry. <laughs> but on, a, on a mailing list, if you ask, Oleg definitely knows the, the answer. Anyone else? Where is the hackerspace? It's in Serbia. It's, uh, oh, sorry, the question is where is the hackerspace? Uh, it's in Serbia in a town called Novi Sad, which is almost uh, on the north. Yeah, no, Novi Sad. Cool. Yeah, come by. <laughs> is, it, yeah? is it possible to run CBSD on OpenBSD? Uh, well, <laughs> Is it possible to run uh, CBSD and OpenBSD? No. Uh, there are no jails. Uh, VMM is uh, drastically different than, uh, than Beehive, and uh, there was no point. That we would end up, oh, we discussed it, and we realized we would actually write a second manager. So, it, but it has, for example, uh, Dragonfly and Hammer support, so it's it's not so much FreeBSD. Uh, obviously, I'm trying to to expand it a bit, uh, but um, just on non-FreeBSD systems are not that. <sighs> I can't call them not that good, but not not so fitting to our needs. More questions? Just shoot. So, yeah. <laughs> Hello, mom. <laughs> uh, so, just to repeat the question, you're next. Uh, the question was oh, actually, there was no question. Uh, the signal angel told us that uh, it's in a man page, so I really didn't read. Shame on me. Yes, uh, are you going to support UMV? Can you be a little bit louder? Uh, yes. Are you planning to support UMV? QMU. Uh, so the question is, are we uh, planning on supporting QMU? Uh, there are bits and pieces that are already working for... Uh, of, oh. Okay, let me start from the beginning. Uh, what we have with uh, QMU and Jails is uh, running, on, for example, your laptop, running your... Uh, ARM-based jail using QMU. Uh, I never tried it. I saw a video Alec posted, so I know it's possible, uh, but it didn't get much attention, so it's really, really alpha, and it needs more, more, more love. Anyone else? Uh, can I use CBSD to fully manage uh, Zen virtual machines? So this is a full-featured management tool to work only with Zen management. So the question is, can, can CBSD fully manage uh, Zen? The reason I don't know is that uh, Zen management in FreeBSD is changing right now. So what we're going to end up, well, basically it's going to 
being 12, so if you use 11, you probably don't care about that. But uh, <coughs> uh, to the best of my knowledge, there are no pieces of Zen that are unsupported. But take it with a grain of salt. Uh, I'm going to definitely have to explore Zen more. I just didn't find time. But uh, the, the documentation is such that I didn't find anything uh, I couldn't uh, do with Zen uh, with, uh, with CBSD. So we got less than 10 minutes. Or we can discuss, or whatever. Okay, if that's all, thank you all, and see you soon.